today I'm going to be turning skeletons into slime in this lovely new building, which almost cost me my sanity trying to squeeze in all of the contraptions required to do that. I'll also be building a wonderful wool farm that produces every colour of wool using some super simple create contraptions. What could go wrong? Let's create. As usual, I started by doing some off-camera work, which included linking up the new Blaze Farm to my warehouse using chutes, fans and conveyors. This means that the XP that's generated by the Blaze Farm will be processed by the Disenchanter collecting the liquid XP inside the tank of experience. Next, I decided to do a bit of tidying up. I flattened some ground around the centre of the base area, replacing coarse dirt and rooted dirt with normal dirt so that it would turn to grass. And then I tackled the crop farm, adding in a new retaining wall, some dirt paths and some new fences from the Macaws mod. I even replaced the rear cliff wall with variations of tub blocks adding another fence along the top to tie it all together. After that I wanted to start bringing all of the buildings together with pathwork so I crafted a botanist table to enable crafting variations of gravel and using those with some framed slabs, trapdoors and floorboards I created a gravel path that blends with the dirt variations in the area linking up the main buildings at that end of the base. I also threw in a few ferns, some bushes and a little bit of grass for detailing. But then I got a bit bored of doing that so I decided to head into the factory to connect the iron and gold farms to my storage system by piping all of the items down underground and along conveyors to meet up with the system coming from my andesite farm. It wasn't going anywhere near fast enough though so I threw in another speed controller and got the items really flying. And that brings us to now. If I'm going to turn skeletons into slime I'm going to need lime dye and we can get that by grinding down or milling flowers but the easiest way is probably the good old fashioned sea pickle way but I haven't got any sea pickles and I haven't got any coral so I guess it's time to take our trusty steed out on an adventure. Come on it, oh jeez. I need to sort this stable out. Come on, Indy. Okay, fine. You, in there. Oh, no. No, 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 stop. How did you do that, you? So we're gonna need to dust off our nature's compass item frame and try and find ourselves a nice warm ocean. Oh, and there's one not too far away. Before we go though, I'm gonna waste a bunch more of this coal. Even though I've got a lava farm. Have a quick snooze back in the old cabin. Grab a bit of water for my jetpack. And take this stupid horse on an adventure. Oh, not you as well. How do you do it? Get out of the wall. Get out. Oh, no, I'm in the wall. What are you doing? Why does everything insist on trying to die today? Let's make a waypoint for where we need to go. And we're going that way. Oh, okay. A whole new direction. Let's go, Indy. Oh, jeez. Indy, now what are we going to do? Okay, I've got a plan. Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at that. It's a big old whale. Ah, a ship. Good morning. Mind if I just pop my horse down here? Right, horse, you stay here. Don't get lost. I'm going over there. Wow, look. That's a lot of coral. Oh, and a shipwreck. Now, it has just occurred to me as I'm flying around with my jetpack that I have brought no underwater breathing apparatus and no real way of mining anything underwater. Oh, no, and there's those horrible skeleton fish again. No, I just want to go to the... Sh oh, my goodness, there's a lot of skeleton fish. What? There's so many. No. No, we'll go this way. It seems so deep as well. Why is it so deep? <gasps> An iron golem traveler's backpack. That is fancy. And it's all mine. All right, that bit over there doesn't look quite so deep. I'm drowning already. Oh, sea pickles. What is that? It's a thing chasing another thing. What is it? A mantis shrimp. And what's that? Is that an octopus? You're not having a very good time, you octopus, are you? Oh, look, sharks. Hammerhead sharks. Do they do they hurt you or are they nice? Are they friendly? Seem to be quite friendly. There we go. We've got a stack of coral and a bunch of sea pickles. All right, let's go find my horse wherever I left him. Come on, horse. We have adventured ourselves out. See you later, Trinidad. Wow, look at that island. That looks amazing. Come on, Indy. Let's go and investigate. Is there anything on it? No, but it's very pretty. And here we are nearly home, having taken my horse on an adventure. Right, now that we got a bit of coral and some sea pickles, we could potentially make a sea pickle farm. But we got some things to do before we do that. And one of those things is to move these sheep. See, I'm sick of these sheep being here making all of this racket. And we're not utilising them to their full potential. And I want to do that. And underneath this nice new walled area here, we're going to build a little bit of a sheep farm. Which means I need to come in here and then dig out all of this junk to make some space. So we've got a good amount of room to put some sheep in and some contraptions. So I dug out a bunch of dirt, granite and stone to make a long, thin corridor 
corridor under the crop farm, filling the floor with dirt and continuing the wall around all sides. I then placed framed floorboards as ceiling tiles over the entire area and textured them with variations of quartz blocks. Once that was done, I grabbed some spruce fences and gates, laid them out in a line to create space for around 21 sheep, dug a trench down the back and put in a gantry shaft. On the gantry, I placed a chassis with a deployer holding shears and then added a water wheel for power and connected it all together to be controlled by a new create block that I haven't used before. This sequence gear shift should send the gantry all the way up that end and back down again. It's got a set of shears on it, but it's going to need more. And the idea is it goes down here, shears the sheep, and then comes back and deposits the wool into there, which is going to drop on the floor for now because it's not connected to the storage system. Let's give it a go. If I flick that lever, it should go off, shear that sheep. It did. It gets down to the other end, comes back again. And with a bit of luck, there's some wool going to pop out of here. There it is. Perfect. But there's a couple of things we need to do here. Obviously, I need to get more sheep in, but we also need to figure out how we're going to get more shears into this thing and where we're going to send the wool. Now, sneaking into Freecam, we're not actually far away from my conveyor system that sends everything back to the storage system. So it really shouldn't be too difficult to get the wool back. In fact, if we hop down here under the floor a little bit, and just go over in this direction. There we go. We've got our little storage line there. So with a couple of conveyors like that, some chutes and that funnel there with a little bit of power, Power, that should send all of the wool back to the storage system. So now we just need to get shears in here and all of the sheep. And the sheep is going to be the easy bit. We just have to come and... Ah, no, I've took the fence out. Oh, jeez. Oh, je oh, jeez. Yeah, I was gonna, we'll just have to get one at a time and take them in. And there we go. That's the last one, which means we've got a whole bunch of sheep left over that I have no idea what to do with. That's better. Now, of course, I am going to want to dye a lot of these sheep, but before we get carried away with that, I want to get some shears into this system. What if I had an item vault there like that, with a chute there, a barrel there, and some shears in that? Ah, yes, they're going into the item vault, but they're not going into there, but probably because it's stopped. So let's just start it again. Now, will it transfer the shears across? No. Okay, so I put a hopper on with some shears in this time. I wonder if that will work. Ah, yeah, they've gone out of there, so they have gone into here. Somewhere. Possibly. Unless they've just gone have they just gone out of there and into the storage system. They did. Great. That's fine. I can use a filter to say don't allow any shears through this funnel. So now if I put some shears in there, are they gonna go in the machine or are they gonna just stay in the hopper? They're in there. No, it's got them. It's got them. What I'm slightly concerned of, though, is if I have too many shears in this system, it's not going to be able to pick up any wool when it's sheared the sheep. So perhaps instead of using some crazy auto crafting system that I was going to put in place, I might just make a barrel full of shears. There we go. That's full. That's full. What about this? How many has that got? 19. But is it picking up? No, now it's dropping the wool. Oh, man. I don't want it to have so many. I bet there's a really smart way of doing this. One thing I can do is glue on another couple of item vaults, and that'll give it at least a little bit more storage. But I guess realistically for now, until some of you clever peeps in the comments tell me how to do it properly, I'm just going to have to keep coming and periodically filling this thing up myself. And there we go. We now have at least one of every single colour of dye. Now we are going to be keeping the majority of these sheep white, just because I'm going to need more of that than anything else. Six white sheep and one of all the other colours. On your marks, get set, go! You missed one. How did you miss that one? Oh, he's in the wrong spot. There we go. Fixed. Look at that. Multicolored wool coming through. And there we go. We're all in except for cyan. I don't know what happened to the cyan wool. Definitely did shear that cyan sheep. Or did I do two light blue sheep? Hmm. Difficult to tell. Well, that definitely looks like a cyan sheep to me. Right, you sheep. I need a test victim. You... Ah, no, cyan's a completely different colour of sheep. Yeah, it looks like I didn't put a cyan one in and put two light blue ones in then. So now there should be cyan dye in the system. The riz, fantastic. Let's pop that into there and look at all of the crazy colours of wool we're getting. Okay, it's time to turn skeletons into slime. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use a skeleton spawner to create bones, which we're going to mill down into bone meal, which will feed into a sea pickle farm to make more sea pickles. Then we'll mill that down into lime dye. We're going to pump in some wheat, mill that down into wheat flour. Then we're going to get that wheat flour, wash it, and turn it into dough. Then we're going to craft that dough and that lime dye using autocrafters into slime. How hard could it be? We're going to need a 
pretty big place to fill all of those things in. And the only real space I've got left in this area is right down there because this area along here is going to be reserved for what we're doing next time. So I guess I better start building. the outside of the building done and i'm relatively happy with it but inside is still very bare in fact there's a big hole here and that's for good reason this building's going to have a basement because the skeleton spawner is going to be up there and i want them to fall all the way down into the basement to be processed underneath this thing because there really isn't all that much room in this building to fit everything we need and then in this big area here we're going to have the sea pickle farm and then over to this side here we're going to have some processing and stuff like that hopefully we'll be able to squeeze it all in but first things first i need to dig out a big old basement and make it all fit and you know work together with everything else we've got going on in here Well, that's a big enough hole, I think, but now I need to decorate it and make it look nice. And for that, I need moss, which means I need a new hoe and a couple of fancy books. I want one on breaking and I would like vein mining, but I've already got one of those, so I don't need to buy it. So I guess we can have efficiency as well. And all I need to do is come to my amazing vat of XP, spin the handle and then stick some books on this hoe. All right, let's take a spare backpack with us so we've got plenty of room. In fact, we might as well take two. And if I remember correctly, looking at this map, a whole bunch of this area is actually covered in moss rather than grass. So let's have a quick fly over there and find out. What's this just here in the woods? A little camp with pillages in it by the sound of things. Oh, hello. Oh dear, you died. That's a shame. Oh dear, Ron. Where's Harry and Hermione? Oh, Ron, are you the only one that survived? Hmm, perhaps this wasn't the biome I was thinking of. This one is definitely grass and not moss. Who have we got trapped this time? It's Hal. Oh, do you know where Harry and Hermione are, Hal? I'll get rid of your captor. Don't you worry about it, Hal. Ow. Your captor is vanquished, Hal. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a party of bears here that look like the neat Tasmanian devils on them. Here, bear, have a Tasmanian... Ow, have a Tasmanian devil. And you can have a Tasmanian devil as well. That's better. Oh, crows. Can I pick a crow up? I can. Cow, would you like a crow? Here you go, cow. You've got a crow friend now. And look, a lighthouse. Oh, look, they had sea pickles as well. That would have been useful a couple of hours ago. Get your hands off of stuff. No, no, I need it. Oh, and a sponge. I don't have a sponge. What you got in here, Ingy? Oh, you got a buried treasure map. I'll take that. Got anything worth nicking? I mean, uh, borrowing. You don't need it. I oh, know I don't need it. You could, you could just leave it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think you understand how stealing works. Frog lights. I don't have any frog lights. <gasps> And gold inside them. All right, this buried treasure map then. Where is it going to take us? I found it. <gasps> Mini. Nice. So you're looking for moss. Well, I am, but, you know, finding all sorts of other stuff as well. Oh, there's a boat. <gasps> there's a whole armada. Oh, you've got a baby. Brooke. Elfrida. Leaves a lot to be desired, your boat, doesn't it? What we got over here? We've got a whole gaggle of people over here. Oh, a bomb. Coast armor trim. Anyone else got any bombs? What about this giant boat here? This will have, wow, loads of barrels. Oh, this is fancy. Look at this captain's quarters. <laughs> really? <laughs> Jack Into, you're the captain. I don't think so. Shift it. More sponges and a treasure room. I haven't got any bacon. Oh, pumpkins. I don't have pumpkins. I don't think you're supposed to be down there, are you? Well, that's all of these boats successfully raided. Let's go see if I can actually find some moss. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jungle village. Look at this thing. An interesting looking little house. Has it got a door? No. Ooh. It's got a spawner. Hello. Get him, raccoon. I could do to take that, really. I haven't got a zombie spawner. That's the one thing I'm missing. I'm going to have to leave it here and then just put a waypoint down, I think. What, a few little houses in the woods. There's a whole village in the woods. There's still no moss. And all these cool leaves. Leave that squid alone. You meanie. What an orca. The big whale's fighting the orca. No way. This world's just so beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's just beauty. But no moss. One of them flying things. A bird. Yeah, but it's. I think it's a sunbird. There we go. Tower of the sun. I don't know what that was. Another cool looking tower over here. Oh, it's pillagers. Hello. Good morning. 
a cladding upgrade. What's a cladding upgrade? Hey, stop it. I'm looking in your boxes. Hey, look. Now, chaps, I know we're all getting carried away and all excited about what's going on in here. You know, oh, look, there's someone new in the house. Everybody come and see him. But this just won't do. I'm trying very hard to figure out what you've got. Go away. Well, you dropped loads of stuff. Go on. It's got the ponder sound. What does it sound like? Hey, a Gilada monkey. Are you nice or are you nasty? Seem quite nice. Can I pick one up? I can. And I can stack them on top of each other. It's monkey stacking time. How tall can we get this pile of monkeys? This is amazing. Yo, ow, come here. You need to go on a monkey pile. There we go. And I think we'll have a pillager captain on top. Uh, there we go. A pillager captain on top of a pile of monkeys. Oh, and now the iron golems are coming to see them. I can't reach him. It's too high up. Right, anyway. Moving on. Wow, look at this village going up this mountain. This world's got everything except moss. I've found it. I knew there was a biome full of moss. Basically, when we spawned into this world, we were pretty much near here and I spotted it straight away. And now I've found it again so I can go ham, whoa, with my, whoa, silted ho, and just get an absolute ton of this stuff. There we go. Within seconds, I've got more than I can carry. It's time for bed, which means it's time to go home. Let's go. You have got to be kidding me. There's home. And there's a big old pile of moss right behind my house. I went all that way. Jeez. First, we're going to need a dividing line in from our tough and our granite. And then I'm going to mainly at the top use some normal stone bricks with various patterns of these just like that and then these are going to feed into these mossy stone bricks and the variations of that just like that and the floor is going to be mainly just normal stone but with a few of these different types of variations thrown in just like that i don't think that looks too bad so now it's time to get this spawner in and then this skeleton spawner is just going to sit on the end of that one there and down in the bottom here we're going to have a bunch of conveyors at the end of these conveyors we're going to have another conveyor pointing that way and in this wall here we're going to have a couple of mechanical saws and hopefully the skeletons are just going to come whizzing along here and then just get all minced up with those saws now i know that doesn't allow me to put loot in onto them like i could do if i used a sword and a deployer but this is going to do for now then all we need is a little bit of water in there a bunch of big old water wheels attached to a speed controller and as much speed as we can get out of this thing 192 is as fast as we can go and the only thing we're gonna have to worry about now is how we're gonna pick up the drops so perhaps this little area around here is not very good there we go that's a little bit better the drop should hopefully come out here along here now and spit out in this direction so let's go and take out these lanterns and see what happens one two we should get skeletons pretty quickly now we did oh that conveyor's not going that's not gonna help there we go now it's going the right way and he died straight away and look at him die and look at his stuff come off oh that was great i want to be able to see the spawner from here and i can't quite see it so the spawner is going to actually have to go all the way at that point there and it looks a bit odd with all of that wood above it we can do something with that though maybe some chain or something but now we can see it from here that's much better and there we go a skeleton spawn he's going along and minced amazing there we go a bit of chain holding that should look a lot better and with a little bit of jiggery pokery and a few more conveyors we're now spitting bone meal in completely the wrong direction so we've now got a system that's taking bones this way and grinding them up inside of this millstone and that's turning them into bone meal and occasionally white dye which comes out in here and the other side all i'm doing is collecting the arrows so they're just going into there well there is a lot of white dye in there as well i could really do to filter that out because that's not going to help as much with our sea pickle farm and there we go we've now got a lovely system that takes the bone meal out and puts it in there but you might notice we've got millions of skeletons down here for some reason i don't understand why they're not going into the machine you were working so well before oh this will be why Jeez. okay oh got an enderman traveler's backpack we may have collected a few too many things there we go that'll allow everything to filter through now yeah it looks like we're going to need some storage drawers or something on there or maybe just a big old item vault but as you can see I've got absolutely tons of bone meal and even more up here. And the reason is I was AFK for a little bit after putting in this tinted glass to darken the room a little bit to make it. Oh, how have you managed to get on top of there? Chain bad. Okay, I can fix this. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. I'll just break that chain. That's it. And that one. Here we go. We're just going to put a bit of tinted. Oh, ah, oh, 
Bit of tinted glass on top. That'll stop them spawning on top. Now I just need to escape. Oh my goodness, I'm full of arrows. Now, other than it just totally filling itself up with way too many things and getting itself all clogged up, it's working perfectly. And we've got more bone meal than I could possibly know what to do. Well, actually, I know exactly what to do with it. We need to build a sea pickle farm. Stop shooting each other and get minced. So a sea pickle farm. This is my coral. I know it's not coral. The sea pickles are going to be there. And all the coral is going to be surrounded by glass and covered in water. Water. Above the central one, we're going to have a dispenser facing down like that. And now I can probably get away with putting all of the coral in. Just like that. There we go. Have the sea pickle in the middle. And around the outside of this, we're going to have a whole bunch of mechanical drills. And when the sea pickles grows, the mechanical drills are going to be going up and down and harvesting them and carrying them off into a storage system without us having to do any sort of collection or anything. The only downside is we are going to have one spot missing. And that's because our crazy contraption is going to have to have a redstone block glued into it in order to activate the dispenser when the system goes up and down. Let's get all of these glued together, but not the dispenser. Grab a little bit of chassis. Oh no, we're full again. Now I need a mechanical piston, and to make it sticky, and then all that's going to do is sit there, facing upwards with a bit of shaft coming out the bottom like that. And we need to glue all of this to that chassis there. So now to demonstrate what will happen before we've got power added onto this, it's going to go up and it's going to come down. It's going to go up and it's going to come down. And every time it comes down, it's going to fire the dispenser and the dispenser is going to dispense bow meal into there. In order to automate this, we're going to need another sequence gear shift and that's going to go on there. And it's just going to be told to do piston down for one and then up for one and that's it. Okay, I have been fiddling with many, many bits of contraption and now I think I've got everything working. So we've got power coming from around here all the way down here and into this little contraption here, which is now blowing the bone meal up this chute and up the stairs. The bone meal comes up this conveyor along that conveyor and goes into that chute, which puts it into the dispenser. The sequence gear shift takes power from down there, tells the piston to go forward one and then backwards one, sends that power along the ceiling up here and then through that hole into this piston, which then just goes up and down. And as it goes up and down, the redstone block fires the dispenser, which makes the sea pickles grow. And these mechanical drills break the sea pickles. And then they just get spat out of this funnel into this chute and into this barrel. It's quite noisy and it seems a little bit jittery, but it seems to be working perfectly well. So we now have skeletons being turned into sea pickles. Well, that's not slime. So I've moved the funnel and the barrel. And now the funnel is dropping into this chute, which is now taking it into this milling machine, which is turning it into lime dye. It will produce green dye as well, which we'll have to get rid of, but at least we're now at the point where we've got skeletons into lime dye, which looks a little bit like slime. Shut up! So now that we're successfully processing a whole bunch of lime dye, we need to get our wheat in here and get that milk down into wheat flour and then made into dough. And it shouldn't be too difficult because our storage building is just over here. But so far, I've only put things into this storage system. I haven't taken anything out yet. That said, the wheat is coming from this funnel here, which is our crop farm, and that just goes all the way down here and up into the storage system. I don't think it'd be too difficult to split some of the wheat off and just take it basically that way into our new farm. Oh, we're here. Huh. I'm getting a backlog of bone meal here, though. But there's a nice, easy way to deal with that. I'm just going to add on a buffer. Funnel out, funnel in. Actually, I've got just the thing for all these arrows and white dye. Fire. Which does mean I won't get any more Enderman Traveler's backpacks or other shiny things, but that's fine. I'd rather just get rid of it and not have a clog up. Oh, oh, he's got a creeper backpack. Quick, turn it off. Turn off the fire. Look at that. Oh, is it an emerald backpack? Even better, I want it. Where is it? There it is. Nice. Oh, yeah, I, I can't be throwing all this stuff into fire. We'll just have a little bit of extra storage space. Anyway, this place is getting crowded, and I'm very glad that I built a basement, because look at this thing. It's ridiculous. We've now got wheat coming in on this top line here, all the way from back over there. And it goes along the top here, and it gets pushed up by that fan up here and currently into this barrel. We've now got more lime dye than I know what to do with, which means we really need to get processing this wheat fast. Okay, the next part of the system should now all be in place. So what have we got going on? Well, we've got our lime green dye and our green dye just being stored in these storage boxes for now. And here where our wheat is coming through, we're just going to stick on an andesite funnel. That's going to send it through into this millstone, which is going to send wheat flour through here into this little fan washing machine bit. And that should hopefully get washed and end up in this storage drawer just like it is doing now it might not be the fastest washing machine in the world but it is doing its job and we are getting dough coming through so that means we now have all of the ingredients
ingredients that we need in order to make slime. We've just got to get the lime green dye from over here and the dough from over here, put them into a couple of auto crafters and make slime. I feel like I'm getting very close. This place is a bit of a mess, but I like it. Round here, we now have the lime green dye, which is going to then, with a little bit of a funnel, come off there, go up this conveyor here and all the way along to those chutes over there. And those shoots just go directly into an auto crafter. Here we've got our dough that's being produced. That's going to come off there, go up this one and go in over there, apparently. Jeez, no, no I didn't put the shoots in. Just there, like that. That's fine. Jeez, got dough everywhere. So now we have dough and lime dye in our auto crafter. All I need is power. How hard could it be? What could possibly go wrong? Right, okay. Cog, 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 horizontal gearbox. And there we go, power to our auto crafter. We made slime! We're making slime! Can I put a shoe underneath that and catch it? Nope. And put a shoe there and catch it? Kind of. It's not going to stop though. It's just going to keep going. This is amazing. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how I can... St I need to put it somewhere. How am I going to catch it? I mean, we've got the little arrow coming off in this direction. If I put a chest there, will it go into it? It does. Just go straight in that chest. Amazing. Oh, I'm so impressed with my little self. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. We're just producing slime. This is incredible. What am I doing? Chests. How old-fashioned storage drawers that's all we need and there was me thinking bone meal was going to be our bottleneck we've got so much bone meal I'm, i've had to like bring a load of it up here just to back it up because there's so much i really didn't think dough would be an issue how am i going to speed this up a mixer would probably be better but then we would need an infinite water supply and pumps that shouldn't be too difficult well there's not a lot of room in here <laughs> <laughs> it's not the most spacious of environments. What are you doing me left? Where's your other llama? What's he doing? Oh, jeez, what have you done? Well, with a bit of jiggery-pokery, I've managed to squeeze a pump into here. I've just added in an unlimited water source, which means we've now got water inside this basin. If I stick a mixer on top of that, not that I've got any room, then we've now got a mixing setup. But now I've messed up my lime dye conveyor. And then all we need to do is put a funnel on there and a funnel on... Oh, jeez. And a funnel... No, not there, you moron. Stop it! There. And that should pump wheat flour into the basin that should start mixing dough and there we go it just falls off the end just like that that is quicker it's still not very fast though but it is quicker oh how have i got how's the seeds in it oh no i don't want seeds in there where did the seeds come from don't tell me this produces seeds as well <coughs> oh 25 percent chance of getting seeds Stick a funnel on there and stick a seed filter on and just chuck the seeds on the floor. Simple. Not the best idea you've ever had. Well, it's not the worst idea I've ever had either, mate. Need fire. There we go. So basically what I'm seeing here is that somehow or other we need to make dough in much higher quantities much faster than we are doing in order to speed this up. Because we've got so much of everything else. We've got sea pickles galore. We've got green dye galore. We've even got plenty of wheat. We just ain't got no dough, bro. Oh, no. Well, as usual, sleeping on it seems to have done the trick. I've come back the next day and completely rebuilt this entire side of the farm to now add in three mixing bowls, which is going to triple the amount of dough we're getting through here. Let's turn it on and see if it all works. So I'm going to need a funnel on there, just like that. And I'm going to need a funnel on there, just like that. Oh, but apparently my mechanical drills are no longer attached. There we go. That's better. So the sea pickles now come along this conveyor. They come into this milling machine and they get spat out the other side. The dark green dye or the normal green dye will go into this box here. And the lime green dye gets collected in that box and then spat out onto this conveyor here. The wheat is now being processed through this milling machine. The seeds are being ejected into the fire and then it's going into these three tunnels which splits the wheat flour onto these different belts allowing these basins to all fill up with wheat flour and water at the same time creating our dough three times as fast going into our crafting machine and creating the slime. Now I was AFK for a little while last night just letting this thing run see how it went on and as a result we've now got nearly 12,000 bone meal and we've got a couple more backpack. We've got another Enderman Traveller's backpack and another standard traveler's backpack in there as well so overall i'm really happy with how this all worked out we've got plenty of lime dye we've got plenty of dough everything is working wonderfully and it's so much more compact than it was in fact i got all of this extra space what am i gonna do with it 